Let me just preface this with the fact that this was the one time my parents let me stay home unsupervised for an entire day without a much older babysitter. And so begins my story. It all started one hot, boring afternoon in the suburbs. I was spending the day with some of the neighborhood kids while our parents were at work. Although I was only 10 years old, my parents let me spend the day with the two girls that lived across the street because the oldest of the two sisters was 13. The other, my best friend Sarah, at the time, was nine years old. We were laying out on a trampoline, playing the what do you want to do, I don't know, what do you want to do game. Then we heard the exciting little jingle in the distance. The ice cream man. We all started scrambling out of the door after the older sister, Tammy, who had the money. We rushed down the street to the waiting ice cream man, joining the group of boys who were outside playing lacrosse at the time. As soon as we walked up and saw the driver, I got an eerie feeling. Something just seemed off about him. At first I thought I was just being paranoid considering he had a massively wretched scar down the side of his face. But he didn't stop smiling. It was a sinister type smile, coupled with an unrelenting gaze fixed right on us. We quickly bought our ice cream and bubblegum and left. As we were walking back towards our cul-de-sac, bossy Tammy ordered us to stop and sit on our neighbor's driveway and eat our ice cream. She said, look, I've heard stories on the news of these guys stealing kids. So let's just sit here on Miss Day's driveway until he drives away. Up until this point, Tammy had a history of telling us bogus stories to try and scare us. So Sarah started whining. On any other day, I would have agreed with her. But I couldn't shake the nagging feeling that something was off. The ice cream truck then continued towards us, driving incredibly slow around our cul-de-sac. He was still smiling, and his eyes were still trained on the three of us. When he passed us, he even winked. As soon as he disappeared around the corner, we made a mad dash for Tammy and Sarah's house. We locked the doors and then fled to her parents' bedroom. A few minutes go by and we all calm down a bit and had settled onto her parents' bed to watch some terrible daytime TV like Jerry Springer or something. At that point, out of her parents' window, that faces in towards the cul-de-sac on the second floor, we saw the ice cream truck stopped outside of Mrs. Day's house. We didn't know how long he had been there, considering he didn't have the jingle playing. He wasn't parked there for very long, and eventually slowly drove away. By this time, we're all hyperventilating, but before he can take a minute to recover, he drove by a third time. This time, however, we saw him get out of the truck in front of Mrs. Day's house and walked up towards the front door, examining the outside of the house. He had a pad of paper out and began to jot some things down. We all started panicking at this point as Tammy yelled out, He's writing down the address. He returned to the truck, and as he started to turn the truck around, he looked up and saw us in the window. We hit the floor like we were under fire, and watched him out of a side window. He stopped the truck right in front of Tammy and Sarah's house, and jotted more down on his pad of paper. As soon as he drove away that time, we saw our neighbor arrive home from work, in a complete frenzy. We ran over to her knowing she worked at the police station and told her what had happened. Ultimately, they found the guy, along with a notepad of descriptions of each one of us, the addresses of Mrs. Day's house and Tammy and Sarah's house, as well as plans for when he was going to come back for us. The guy was a registered child sex offender, with a warrant out for his arrest. I'm not sure how he got in that position to be selling ice cream to children in the first place, but he was. So now every time I hear the ice cream wagon jingle... I feel nauseous and unnerved. I moved out of my parents' house when I was 16 and found a cheap apartment to rent with my boyfriend. We made friends rather quickly with the adjoining neighbors. My boyfriend and I even made friends with the ice cream man. I'd get my favorite good humor strawberry shortcake bar every time I saw him, and we'd chat for a bit. All of us even went bowling one night. I was young and didn't listen to the little voice that told me something was off with him. I just wrote it off as, hey. We're all a little different. One day, he came to see me at my apartment when I was alone. I felt a little funny about it, but let him inside anyway. I told him I was just cleaning up the kitchen. The kitchen is set up like a U. He stood in the opening, effectively blocking me from the exit, should I have wanted to. He talked about weightlifting and protein shakes and lifting recovery. This is where things get very hazy. I wasn't thinking clearly because I was so terrified, so I don't remember everything he said to me but he brushed up behind me and started groping me. I'm pretty sure I froze and told him to move away from me. I remember him saying something along the lines of, it's okay, your boyfriend doesn't need to know, and in some fashion, I kicked him out of the house. 
I remember locking the door and sitting underneath the window in the kitchen. I called my boyfriend's mother because that's what you do instead of immediately calling the cops. As I'm on the phone with her, I can hear him outside pacing the second floor deck asking to be let in, knocking on the door and windows. I'm panicking at this point, on the phone still with the boyfriend's mother. She tells me to hang up, that she's calling the police and would call me right back. I yelled at him that I've called the police. Next thing I know, the police are there and I hang up with the mother-in-law. When the police caught up with him, he was in the alleyway surrounded by kids in his ice cream truck. I wonder if they saw him being handcuffed and put into the police cruiser. This all happened within the last two or three hours. My mom and I have been trying to catch the ice cream truck all summer, as they've had some certain ice cream bars that you can't really get anywhere else around here. We were in the middle of watching a show when we suddenly heard the ice cream truck outside. It was loud, signifying that it was close. I got up and went to the door. I saw that it was in front of our house and began to say that it was too late. But then I realized it was slowing down, not driving away. Now this wasn't an, oh, there's someone coming, I should stop, slow down. This was, I've been slowing to a stop since before you opened the door, slow down. My mom told me to go out and make sure he didn't drive away. It was odd, as it was just about 9 p.m., but we wanted our ice cream. My mom came outside and we ordered. The guy was quiet, but said that he stopped because he heard voices. No one was outside, and we were inside when we were talking. There was an open garage door a few houses down, but no one was there. He was able to find the flavor I asked for, but had some trouble finding the one my mom asked for. I just saw it. I just ate one. I figured that he was new to the job and just nervous, so I thought nothing of it. We paid and went back inside. Once we got inside, however, I noticed mine was open. I asked my mom if she had opened it, as she's the one who had both the treats. She said no. She offered me hers, as we both knew neither of us wanted to eat an opened ice cream bar. When she noticed that hers was really puffed up, as if it had been blown up with air, we threw both of them away. After thinking about it for a few minutes, it all seemed so weird. 9pm. The music suddenly turned on when we both heard it. It didn't slowly fade in, as if it's been on the whole time. It slowed to a stop in front of our house before I even opened the door. He was quiet and gave us two suspicious ice cream bars. He sped away after that, not stopping for anyone else. Just 15-ish minutes ago, I called my mom in from the garage to tell her that the cats were trying to catch this bug that looked like a wasp or something. As she came in, she saw something through the kitchen window. She rushed me to the front door into the next room, and when she opened it, a different car drove away. I didn't see the full thing, but she says it was pulled over with the lights on and quickly peeled out of there when we opened the door. My dad just came home and we told him about everything. He thinks it's odd, but that's about it. Sure, the two incidents could be totally innocent, coincidental occurrences, but it's too weird. My mom wants me to sleep in the living room on the other couch tonight, just in case something happens. I have no objections, because I'm nervous as hell.